in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of ingenuity. The worker will look at you, then hurriedly go back to work as if trying to ignore your existence. You will have to ask again, and they will then acknowledge you, and motion for you to follow them with a scared yet angry look on their face. They will take you down a flight of stairs that will seem to take you upwards. However, midway the worker will turn to you with a look on their face now that seems to be pleading for you to turn back, hand you a pen, and walk back the same way you came, disappearing into the darkness. Now is the first chance you have to turn back, take it, and flee the country or continue on. Should you choose to continue on, you will have to finish walking the stairs alone, in utter silence, all but the sound of your feet hitting the steps, and the lone sound of your beating heart, which seems to get louder with each step you take. After a long while, when it seems your heart is like a loud drum, you will come to a crossroads. There is a fork in the stairs, but both seem to be going the same direction, intertwining themselves, spiraling away from you. You must choose left or right. It cannot be said which is the correct set. Tick the wrong one, and you will be walking your way to the gates of hell itself. Turning back is no longer an option, as the wandering demons of hell's gates now have you under a close watch. Try to run, and you will be crushed between the gates, able to move neither back to the land of the living, nor to the fires and torment of hell, which would be like heaven in comparison to the state you must live through for eternity. Should you pick the correct set of stairs, you will go on to find a door barely distinguishable from the wall it sits upon. Open the door with care, and proceed into the room behind it. You will see in front of you another door, with an opaque window which boasts a small hole in the middle. Try as you might, the door will not open for you. However, place the pen in the hole, and a hand from the other side will grab hold and take it. Wait a few moments, and the glass should repair itself. The door will then open for you. Inside the room the holder will be pondering over a large machine in the corner. The pen you gave him should be stuck somewhere on the machine, but it will not be running. It seems to be missing a part or in need of repair. The holder will show you a table that contains many objects that may be used to fix the machine. Act quickly, however, for if you wait too long, the holder will lose patience and kill you swiftly with one of the objects. If you are quick, you might notice the language is written on one of these objects, a wrench. Use it to fix the machine whatever way you can. Tightening a bolt, placing it somewhere, or simply bash the machine with it. Whatever you do, should you get the machine working quickly enough to still be alive, the holder will stand in front of it, speak something in a language you will not understand, and then he and the machine will fade from existence. Slowly, you will lose consciousness, and the room will become a blur until you black out. When you awake, you will find yourself sitting in a chair next to the worker that showed you the way in the lobby of the building. Plotched in your hand will be the wrench. With it in your hands, you will find yourself a capable repairman in any and all fields. This wrench is object to 120, uh, 538. Are you still compelled to bring them together?